Today I'm going to show you how to completely encrypt your USB flash drive. It only takes a couple clicks, a few seconds, and you don't need any additional tools. Stick around, should be a good one. Cybercrime is always on the rise, whether it's been 2022, 2023, now 2024, it does not stop. The bad guys are out there, they're getting more and more tricky, finding ways to steal your personal data. It's never been more important, guys, to secure your personal data than it is right now. A lot of us have heard of ways to encrypt our hard drives, protect our local PC, laptops, but what about your removable media? What if you walk around with a USB flash drive and you have sensitive information on there? Maybe you need it portable to move between you know, customers, businesses, things like that. It doesn't really matter what the use case is. If you have a USB flash drive, it's a lot easier for someone to steal a little tiny pocket-sized flash drive than it is to steal your entire PC. Uh, it's also easier for you to misplace or drop something like a USB flash drive. If it gets into the wrong hands, it doesn't take much for a bad guy to pop that in and take whatever data is on there. Today, we're going to take a look at an easy way for you to encrypt that entire flash drive using a built-in utility to Microsoft Windows, which is BitLocker. All right, now you may have heard of BitLocker before uh, to encrypt your operating system's system drive or your hard drive. Uh, usually you have to have TPM to pull that off, but they also offer a feature called BitLocker to go, which can encrypt your USB flash drives. It's very easy to turn on guys, so we're gonna walk through that right now. So I have a flash drive here, which is the uh, F drive in my case. So if I right click that and I go to properties, I'm sorry, I'll right click that and I'll go to show more options. I'm running Windows 11. You could do this in Windows 10 as well. By default, the home editions of those operating systems don't have this enabled, but if you have pro and above versions of 10 and 11, you'll see this right out of the gate. All right, so from here, we're gonna click on turn on BitLocker. That'll bring up this box. And then you have two ways to do it. You can use a password, which is the most common or you can use a smart card to unlock. So if you have a smart card, you could use that combined with a pin, but I'm gonna use a password for this demonstration. And I'll click next. And you will be prompted to save the recovery key. So if you ever forget that password, you're gonna need the recovery key. You can either print that out or you could save it to a file, or if you have an online Microsoft account, you could save it there. For this demo, I'm just gonna save it to a document. All right, that's saved, so I'll click Next. Choose how much of your drive to encrypt. So you can do encrypt only the use space, and as you add things to the drive, it will continue to encrypt the new use space. This is faster, obviously. Or you can encrypt the entire disk. This is slower, but for PC, best for PCs and drives that are already in use. So just for this demo, I'm gonna do the use space only, and like I said, this will continue to encrypt the parts of the drive after, um, kind of like what it says here, BitLocker encrypts new data automatically as you need it. So I'm gonna do that. Compatible mode. These are two different uh, modes of encryption here. So Windows 10 version 1511 introduces a new disk encryption mode, XTS AES. This mode provides additional integrity support, but is not compatible with older versions of Windows. If this removable drive that you're going to use on, if this is a removable drive you're going to use on older versions of Windows, you should choose compatible mode. If this is a fixed drive and the drive will only be used on devices running at least Windows 10 version 1511 or later, you could choose the new encryption mode. So obviously follow those instructions. If you are going to use this on older versions of Windows or you need to give it to someone that may have an older version of Windows, then obviously select compatible mode. All right, are you ready to encrypt this drive? You'll be able to unlock the drive using a password. Encryption might take a while depending on the file size. Until encryption is complete, your files won't be protected. So yes, I'm ready to encrypt. Let's go ahead and click that. And since I only had one small text file on there, encryption of the F drive is complete. So now we see we have a little lock here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug this drive and I'm gonna plug it back in. We'll see if we can get into it. Actually, before we do that, let's just click on it. <clears throat> yeah, it's already unlocked because it's plugged in, so let me unplug it. And then I'll plug it back in. 
And now I see a big fat lock there, right? So let's go ahead and click that. And you see when I try to open it, BitLocker F drive, enter the password to unlock the drive. More options, I could enter the recovery key or I could automatically unlock on this PC, but that only happens after you put in the password the initial time. So without the password, you're not gonna be able to get into this, guys. There we are, now it's unlocked. Same thing is true, like if you were to boot into a, a Linux distribution or anything like that, and you try to pop this in and kind of slave it off as a secondary drive, you wouldn't be able to access the data without the uh, encryption key, password recovery key. So very easy way to encrypt and protect your personal data on a USB flash drive. I highly recommend if you guys have not checked out BitLocker to go, that's what I call it. I think that's what they originally called it. I uh, highly encourage you guys to check this out. Give it a try. It's obviously a very easy thing to do. Share this with your friends and family. Chances are you've got relatives, um, friends that are not so IT savvy, and they may be running around with USB flash drives with things on there that if they get into the wrong hands, it would be a nightmare, right? Could be passwords, could be bank information. Again, people, people are people. We're all humans, right? But if you're not in IT and you're not savvy with uh, what's going on out there with cybercrime, things like that, you're not really thinking about, okay, I shouldn't put this on here. I better password protect this. You're just doing it because you need to get the data wherever you need to get it, right? It's convenient. It's That's why people buy flash drives a lot of times. Let those people know. Enlighten them. There's a better way to do it, guys. It takes 10 seconds to turn this on. All you need to do is remember a password, and you've just added a massive layer of security to your portable media. So again, guys, make sure you share this. Um, that's why I make a lot of these videos. I want to make sure people who are not in the IT space have some very uh, valuable information, but I try to keep a lot of it simple enough to apply to a broad audience. So let me know, guys, are you using BitLocker to go on your USB flash drives? Do you use another solution? If so, why? Why don't you use BitLocker? Uh, my first guess would be maybe it's mainly a available on Windows systems. But hey, let me know either way. All right, guys, this was a quick one. Wanted to give you a, a pro tip from a cybersecurity standpoint to help protect your personal data. Do me a favor, guys. If you found any value in this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't done so already, I really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any future content. Share this with your friends. Drop me a comment. I respond to all those. Consider visiting our sponsor today, bootableusbs.com. I hope you all have a great day. Until the next one, take care.